So I just picked up a Drobo 5N. I really wanted some backup and beyond just like say an external hard drive. Cause say I have an external hard drive and I back up files to that hard drive, but then, you know, God forbid that hard drive crashes, your data is lost. So I wanted something, a network attached storage un unit. Uh, you know, think about like if you're working at a company and there's like a server, you know, in the back room that the IT department manages. So, I mean, you know, you, you're working on your desktop and there's the C drive, which is the hard drive that's actually in your desktop. But then, you know, there's that other server drive that, you know, whatever they call it, it's the, uh, the M drive or something like that, the L drive. That is actually you're saving those files to the server or to the network. And usually what happens there is that either overnight or at a certain interval, those files back up or that, that server gets backed up so that if, God forbid, anything crashes, you have iterations of that server. So what the Drobo 5N is, is kind of like it gives you multiple hard drives so you have like a redundant backup. Okay, now the five means I could have up to five hard drives in this device. So, and you know, I'm, I'm not starting with five, but I could always add more down the road. So, you know, you could start off with say two hard drives, have redundant backup, and then, you know, like every time you get a few extra dollars, you could buy another hard drive and stick it in. The other thing about this one is the 5N is this one attaches via an ethernet cable right to my router. So this is gonna be like part of the network. So any computer in my house or mobile device that's attached to the network should be able to see this Drobo and see that information. So it's not just attached to say one computer. They also make a Drobo 5D, which is like direct, you know, instead of having it in the network, it's attached directly to a computer. I believe there's one called the 5C, which is a USB-C. The 5D, I think, has a USB-3. And then the 5N has an Ethernet cable, which is the one I went with. And that, so the Ethernet cable, you have to plug into a router. The other ones will plug directly into a computer, assuming you have the USB-C or, or 3. So I figured I'm going to do a few videos on this because my idea is not only to have the Drobo set it up, and I'll show you how I set it up, but I also want to do something called um, setting up a Plex server. So that's the reason I bought this network attached one because, you know, I have a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays, you know, I mean, I legitimately own them. It's not like I'm trying to pirate anything. And so I want to take a backup copy of that and keep it on the Drobo on the network so that using like a Roku or um, an iPad or something like that, I could pull up this one program called Plex and um, you know, so the Drobo has the capability of having this Plex server and it'll serve up my movies, like say on a Roku, on any TV that has like say a Roku or any TV that, or any iPad that's in my house connected to the network. So that's just like one of those projects that I really am, you know, pretty excited about starting. So I figured this video, I just wanna show you what comes in the box and I'll show you what I, you know, my initial setup. Then I'll figure out, I'm gonna have to load up the software once it's attached to the network and we have to like kind of find the Drobo and register and all that. And then I wanna do the software with the Plex and then I'll show you how um, to rip like a DVD that you own and kind of put that onto the network. So just a couple of things, uh, you know, stay tuned for all the other videos, but if you're interested in this project, um, you know, keep watching and um, you know, I, I'm pretty excited to get going with this. So let's just see what's in the box. This is the Drobo 5N, so. Okay, so in this box, let's take a look here. Welcome to the world of Drobo. All right, so this is this is what comes in the box. So here we're gonna have. Let me just put this in the back here. So the Drobo 5N. We're gonna get. I guess a little uh, safety and warranty and a sticker. Up here, I guess it has a little bit of instructions on what to do. There's a power brick, an ethernet cable, and here's the power cord that plugs into the power brick. So I think that's it really, as far as like the accessories go. Okay, so inside here is just gonna be the Drobo unit. So let's take a look here.
So here it is. It's just a little unit. It's wrapped up in, I guess, a little Drobo bag. Uh, let's take a look, maybe if it's upside down or not. Yep, it's upside down. So I guess if you ever had to carry this thing around, you could put it, it's like a little tote bag that it comes in, but it's actually upside down here. So let me just take it out. All right, here it is. So here it is, it's very, pretty small. It's not too big at all. I mean, it's lightweight here, solid metal. Um, so here we go. In the back you have somewhere where it's gonna plug in the plug. And then you basically have an ethernet cable and then basically a power switch and a place to lock it. I mean, that's literally it. So if you're gonna to try to connect this to a computer, you have to go with the Drobo 5D or the 5C. But there's other models too. I mean, there's one that have maybe two drives and there's one I think that have up to 12 drives. This one's five drives. So to me, I mean, that's probably a good sweet spot to be in. Now the drives just go right in here. So this thing I think is just, the front cover is just magnetically attached. And then here's different bays. And basically you're just gonna slide the hard drives right in. When you slide a hard drive in, Assuming that there's space on the drive and the drive is working fine, it's going to be a green light on the side. If the drive, um, I guess if you're running out of space, it goes to yellow because it says add a drive soon. Then it says don't remove this drive if it's like green, yellow, blinking. Add a drive here now is uh, red. And then drive failure replace is like probably blinking red. So there's little lights on the side that will show you like the health of your drives. And the thing is, I could have two drives in, and if I kind of fill that up, I could stick a third drive in. If I fill that up, I could stick a fourth drive in. And the thing is, you could have single redundancy. Now, if I, let me just, let me show you exactly what the drives I got. And I'll just try to explain to you how that works. So, the other thing I'll let you do is you could have an MSATA. It's like a little baby hard drive. So I got a 64 gigabyte M SATA drive. It was literally like 30 bucks. And this kind of goes in on the bottom. So if you look on the bottom here, there's a little panel here, and you'd actually plug that in. That's for really like cache memory. So it kind of takes things you do normally like all the time and it kind of well, puts it in that and it kind of speeds it up. I guess if you think about Apple and like their fusion drive or something like that, it kind of keeps the things that you probably always use in that cache memory. So to get the Drobo working, you need hard drives. So I picked up two hard drives. These are the Western Digital Red Drives, which are like NAS or Network Attached Storage Drives, eight terabytes each. So these are gonna plug right into here, the front two slots. And um, this gives you eight terabytes on each drive. So if you think about a hard drive, you have, you know, like, let's just say, Eight terabytes really comes out to once you have it in your computer like seven and a quarter terabytes or something like that seven and a half it's never exactly eight but what will happen here is I'm gonna put the two of them in and Drobo will give me like seven and a half terabytes for both of them so I'll have probably like a one-to-one -one backup so God forbid I only have those two drives and one crashes it'll show up red you know this light here and then I could just pull it out and replace it the next day. And then it, it, Drobo will rebuild that hard drive. But the first hard drive, assuming it doesn't crash, you know, keeps all your data, maintains that. It also has the ability to have a dual disk redundancy. So I think once you put like four drives in, you could tell it that you want two drives to be backup, like a redundancy. So that, let's say you have four eight terabyte drives. So we'll just call it 32 terabytes you'll only have 16 usable because 16 of it will be like the redundant backup. And then if you have five disks in, you could have single or dual disk redundancy. So, I mean, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And from what I understand, it's very intelligent where depending on, you could have different size drives, it doesn't matter. It just calculates the amount of space and, and it just redundantly backs up what, what it needs. So that's the story. Um, one other thing I got, just to play it safe, is one of these, um, just move this over a little bit. Uninterruptible power supply. So, I mean, this is a small one. It's like 255 watts. 
So, I mean, this should just be, I'm, I'm literally just gonna plug in the Drobo and probably my router into this. So it shouldn't need that much. And this is just a precaution. I actually believe there's some battery backup in the Drobo itself. But I mean, for a couple of bucks, I got that one. So I have two now. All right, so that's the story with the Drobo. This is the initial setup I have. The two eight terabyte hard drives. I have the 64 gigabyte MSATA drive. And it's by Transcend. I mean, this is literally like 30 bucks. So I figured it's kind of immaterial in the grand scheme of things. And if it speeds it up, great. You can actually use SSD drives in the Drobo also. And if you use SSD, then the MSATA won't make any difference. So this will give you like the best of both worlds because I have the, the massive storage of the three and a half inch drives plus the MSATA drive. So let me get this set up and um, I'll show you how the software works in the next video and then we'll start working on the Plex server. So if you're interested in this, keep uh, an eye out and I'll get the other videos out quickly. All right, talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Any questions, throw in the comments. And if you like these kind of videos, hit subscribe and like them. That's awesome. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.